Hey guys, today I'll be collecting some Midgar currency for the current event, the Summit and Fantastic Boyfriends collaboration, a collaboration that is with another IP developed by Life Wonders. With that, let's just hop right into it. <laughs> So, interestingly enough, uh, the new 5-star unit, Necros and Bacchus, is actually a snipe unit that is designed to be a frontliner. Um, it is a bit strange because, you know, snipe units get the best out of range just by uh, hiding in the back to attack safely. However, in this case, uh, back is kind of just cannot be played at his best if you decide to play safely. So he is designed to play at the front, even though he has a nasty snipe penalty, uh, to be able to inflict all sorts of debuffs at the face start, as well as at the start of, of turn. I actually can't remember off the top of my head what those triggers are. Uh, however, it does consist of stuff like a, a dazzle. Mm, bind and uh, maybe charm. I forget. Uh, I'm still learning the units. But yeah, hopefully he will activate some of the skills in the next phase, so you can see how effective he can be in front line. Uh. I am a clown. Nothing is activated. Of course it is. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but trust me, he really is a unit that's designed to be in front. So much so that I would actually have him placed more in the front than uh, the new hero character who is shot range and can actually reach the back. The hero character can quite pack quite the punch too. Uh, building up one buff uh, every single turn and by the fourth turn oh no don't tell me he's <laughs> he's <fine. laughs> all right yeah whatever whatever gotta hate 10 prisoner oh at least he inflicted can't any see that's another thing that uh you wouldn't be able to exploit if he was at the back really uh when he's struck he has a good chance not really good like 40 percent of inflicting countdown uh, that was sort of my fault for not paying attention to the fact that Everyone in the front line was uh, had a favorable advantage type against Bacchus, whether it was uh, Ether against Nether, or it was uh, Valiant. Uh, well, I guess that's not really an offensive, but uh, Golden Bursty does quite have quick punch. Probably wouldn't save uh, Sword for me in front. Uh, with that said, I will just have uh, Alp eat the damage in the front because he's not really just play battle. I'll just take the damage from me and Diego. <laughs> hey, yo! Yeah, bye! <laughs> Alright, let's continue. <laughs> well, even though he is just 3-star, he's he still is a blue unit, so he can deal a decent amount of damage. I really should be talking about 3-stars. I should have been talking about Necros and Necros, but he died, so I can't anymore. Um, yeah, Hero is a fun-ish character, um, if you can build his buffs anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can take care of him like that. Hope we got enough damage to finish and seal the deal. Yep. So, I actually wasn't fortunate enough to pull any of the units in this banner. <laughs> So I can only really demonstrate Necros and Bacchus in the support slot. Uh, I did pull a 3-star Orgus, but I'm not going to be playing with 3-star Orgus. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.